industry. You know, number two to them, though, the hotel industry. Hotel Owners Association President and CEO Cecil Staten now says there is a looming liquidity crisis for some of the nation's premier hotel owners, and not necessarily just the premier ones. Um, where do things stand right now as you see them, Cecil? Well, thank you very much. Good to be with you, Neil. Same. I have a great job. I go to work every day with 20,000 entrepreneurs who are living the American dream, many of them first, second, third generation Americans. And through our association, we represent, represent them with the voice of America's hotel owners. A lot of people don't understand that when you check into a hotel, it may say Hilton or Marriott. In reality, it's a franchise, and it's owned by a local person, Joe Hotelier, and they're trying to make payroll and pay the mortgage, just like all small businesses across America. So right now, we're, we're in a world of hurt, and it has to do with occupancy, as occupancy rates have cratered in recent days. We've been doing great in the Trump economy, occupancy rates above 80%. But we're getting reports from our members of rates now falling 30 to 50%, some hotels with only 10 to 20% occupancy rates. And that is leading to a liquidity problem for our members. And I'm glad to hear all the talk about liquidity today. That's the real issue going forward. Our members are going to be facing severe challenges to meet the payroll and to pay the mortgage every month. And that's what we're concerned about as we look at the overall response to the situation coming from the government. I'm sure that even if you get some help from the government, and maybe it is in, 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 in coming, uh, it's going to take a lot to get people to travel again. They're leery. They're nervous. I suspect that won't change until we make progress on getting this whole coronavirus thing under control, don't you? I, I think that's probably correct. We do hope that it will be short-lived. We hope that at the end of the day, that's one well, of the things that What would short-lived be for you? Like, how, how, is, it, is it April? Is it May? Well, is it June? In other words, if we're into yeah. the summer and people are still anxious, then... It's going to be very, very difficult because of the ripple effects. Right. Because, you see, when our hotels are empty, then the restaurants around them, the retail establishments around them, the communities that depend upon uh, the economic impact from those businesses, you know, that ripple effect is going to continue to negatively impact the overall economy in the United States. Look, we're really hoping that we're going to see uh, some action on the part of the government, you know, on just three or four basic fronts. Hoteliers don't want to bail out. What we do want, however, is for the government to make sure that there's some ease in regulation so that banks, for example, and our members uh, who are their customers can do what they need to do to work out some ways to get through this for several months. The same thing is true for, for capital infusion. We very much appreciate what the SBA may be able to do now because of President Trump's initiatives. But there's a lot of red tape that goes with SBA loans that involve governments and local communities. We, we want that red tape to be moved so that this capital can be infused more quickly so that our hoteliers can stay alive and be there whenever the end comes, whenever we do get to the other side. We want to make sure that we can uh, be there. Hoteliers are resilient, right? We, yeah. we went through 9-11. We went through the 2008 crisis. We've been through recessions before. But this is unique. And so at the end of the day, uh, you know, we hope that whatever Washington does, whatever state governments do, they won't add more regulations, more burdens, more things that are going to get in the way of our be being able to survive this and be there on the other side when the economy gets to churning again. All right, Cecil, thank you very much. Good luck to you and your fine folks, Cecil, Stephanie, uh American Hotel Owners Association president and CEO, as he was talking to illustrate how the widespread this this develops and the fear of it develops, we're learning in the Garden State, uh, non-emergency travel in New Jersey will be strongly discouraged between.